Hello everybody and welcome to another Python 3 Basics video. In this video we're going to carry on with functions. In the last video you were shown just a very basic function and we didn't use any parameters. In this video we're actually going to include parameters and give this function more uh, functionality. So uh, let's define a function and we're just going to call this function simple underscore addition and we're going to have num1 and num2. And basically when you write this stuff out it, you're just making it up like a variable name. Um, you can pick anything you want, just write it in. And it's going to act like a variable within your function. So as usual, colon, enter, and now we will write out this function. Now what we want this function to do is just some simple addition for us. So we're going to say answer equals num1 plus num2. So that's going to give us our answer variable. And just for the sake of printing out something else, uh, let's also go ahead and print num1 is, uh, and actually we don't need this uh, here, num1 is, and then num1. Now what we want to do is actually um, print our answer too. So let's go ahead and print the answer. So print answer, and now it'll print out our answer. So num1 is going to be whatever we specify in the num1 parameter. And the answer is going to be whatever num1 plus num2 is. Obviously, if you put letters or string or whatever in here, it's not going to work. <laughs> so anyway, uh, enter, enter. And we'll run simple underscore addition 5.3. So we'll save that and we'll run it. And we get num1 is 5. And then the answer, 5 plus 3, equals 8. Cool. Easy enough. And there are no limit to the amount of variables that you can have or the amount of parameters that you can have in your function. The only thing you really want to look out for at this point is the order of the variables as well as the quantity of variables. Now uh, the order is as follows so if you really wanted num1 to be uh, 5 but instead you did 3 5 obviously num1 is going to be 3 not 5. Now there's a couple of things that you can do uh, here. You can one, protect yourself somewhat uh, by doing something like this. So you could say num1 equals 5 and then num2 equals 3, like so. And you can hit, uh, you can run that. And it's going to work just like it always has. But you're not going to really see people do this too often. But what you could do is you could say num2, num1. And so even though they're in a different order uh, than we specified that we'd receive them, because we're saying it explicitly here, um, we're allowed to do that. So num1 is 3, and sure enough, that did work. Uh, so that's going to work for us. Now, quantity is also going to be an issue. So let's just revert back to what we were doing before, 3, 5. We run that. That works out for us. But if we have only one variable called, <clears throat> we get an error. Simple addition, uh, missing one required position, positional argument. By that same token, if we have 3, 5, 3, or 4, let's do that, and we run it, we're going to get another error. It takes 2, but 3 were given. So that's why uh, you know, quantity is a big deal. Now, that's going to be it for this specific video. In the next video, I'm going to be covering the default variable assignments, because default variables uh, can also kind of change up quantity. So soon we'll be throwing away all of the knowledge you just learned on quantity. Oh my goodness. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until the next video.